Hello and welcome to this walkthrough video for the Techovation mClarity 2 plugin. mClarity 2 incorporates the next generation of our dynamic resonance suppression technology, offering enhanced sound quality and introducing intelligent features designed to help you effectively eliminate boxiness, muddiness, and harshness in your mixes. mClarity 2 expands on our popular mClarity plugin, using spectral shaping technology to detect and suppress unwanted frequencies to deliver a clearer and more detailed sounding mix. This upgraded version has a new and improved spectral shaping engine and dynamic section, delivering an even cleaner sound than the M Clarity Mark I, with no distortion or artifacts. This is alongside a new intelligent mix assistant, which analyzes your audio and suggests the right settings for your track, and an adapted processing range, meaning the plugin continuously analyzes your audio and automatically adjusts the processing frequency range to target boxy, muddy, and harsh frequencies for extra precision. Before we take a look at all of the controls and what's new in a bit more detail, let's have a listen to how mClarity 2 works on some different material. All work, no pleasure. I ain't here to make friends, big stepper. Ayy, bad guy, heat ledger. Ready for whatever, I'll be front and center. Quick to sever, however, whoever. Raining from above, we shooting down through your umbrella. Ayy, getting fed up. Nothing you could tell us. Snapping every shot I take, just wait till it develops. Stick around. As you can hear, mClarity 2 subtly yet precisely removes the unflattering muddy and boxy frequencies, which can make the mix sound dull and cluttered. Let's go through some of the different parameters that you have at your disposal. Suppression is the main control of the plugin, affecting how much the targeted frequency components are reduced to improve the clarity of your audio. If you want to save yourself some time and give yourself a solid starting point for fine adjustments, you can make use of the Mix Assist feature, which uses machine learning to analyze your audio and intelligently set the processing parameters based on the input audio. You can choose where mClarity 2 is looking for these problematic frequencies by adjusting the frequency limit slider. Once the range is selected, mClarity 2 will continuously analyze the audio within that range to adapt the processing range and then spectrally suppress overbearing frequencies. The frequency limit slider displays the exact spectral peaks that the adaptive processing range is currently targeting, so you can see and adjust where the processing occurs. If you want to revert to the fully manual range targeting style from mClarity Mark I, you can disable the adaptive range in the plugin menu. Intensity controls the scale of the spectral peaks that the plugin is targeting. At lower settings, it will focus on finer, narrower peaks, while higher settings will result in broader spectral adjustments. Focus controls how selective mClarity 2 is when suppressing spectral peaks. Higher focus settings will result in only the strongest resonances being suppressed, while affecting weaker resonances less. The attack and release times determine the dynamic response of mClarity 2, with attack delaying the onset of spectral suppression, letting initial transients through unchanged, while release prolongs the suppression even after the peak that triggered it is gone, giving a useful tool for taming, ringing, and echoing resonances. Unlike most dynamic processors, you can set both attack and release to zero milliseconds without any distortion. In fact, this setting will result in the most precise resonant suppression. The hard and soft modes determine how gentle the spectral shaping is. Hard mode results in precise and exact spectral corrections, while soft mode uses spectral smoothing and shallower filters for a more gentle approach. At any point, you can use the filter button to listen to the adaptive processing range, so you can hear exactly what the plugin is targeting. When the filter button is enabled, the frequency limit slider visualization also switches to show the adaptive filter shape, so you can simultaneously hear and see how the adaptive filter is adjusting to your track. The difference button enables you to listen to the difference between the processed and original signals. This allows you to audibly perceive the spectral corrections made by the plugin, making it easier to fine tune its parameters. Makeup controls the amount of clean gain applied to the processed signal. You can make use of the auto setting, which will adjust the gain to compensate for the difference between the original and processed signal. 
The LR and MS section of mClarity 2 allows you to switch processing between left and right and mid-side modes to control the balance of the plugin's effect on the stereo channels. In LR mode, the plugin processes the left and right channels independently, so if you need to preserve the stereo balance of your track, switch the processing to mid-side mode. mClarity 2 also offers the standard and essential Techovation plugin features, such as a built-in on-off switch, undo and redo functionality, a GUI scale adjustment, and presets. mClarity 2 provides an effective solution for reducing troublesome frequencies and resonances in your mixes with its enhanced spectral shaping engine, adaptive processing ranges, and intelligent mix assist, achieving clear, great sounding audio has never been easier. Try mClarity 2 for yourself with a 14 day free trial.